Hey Internet, it's Dmitry, senior software photographer, and today I'd like to share my experience with CineSteel film. Uh, first, I got to know this film um, with the Indiegogo campaign, I think it was, not a Kickstarter actually. And uh, I immediately pre-ordered myself a roll of, of this uh, film, but then I was so impatient that I, I just went online and started researching, and it turned out that there is a 35mm film. Uh, yeah, version of cine still film, and I immediately ordered myself a roll. And uh, actually, when I loaded it into my uh, 35 millimeter camera, I was so intimidated by uh, tungsten nature of this film. So it's been sitting in my camera for like uh, almost four months. So I shot like five to eight rolls, uh, not rolls, but uh, frames. Uh, back then and then it's been sitting up until the new year and uh, in the new year if I decided that I'm not gonna take this role with me in the new year in the 2017 and I shot all the rest shots uh, I processed this next day and it was quite a disappointment so uh, pretty much all the shots looked uh, underexposed and uh, pretty much all the colors were uh, quite off let's say. So uh, I thought I never gonna buy this film again. Um, but then like a few days uh, ago the, I, I got my uh, post box from uh, CineSteel company. So my Baker key, kit arrived instead of uh, one roll. I've got two rolls of this film and I decided well yes that's medium formats. That's a totally different game. I have a, a lot more experience nowadays and I decided, so why not give it a try and just push it? Uh, and I decided to push it two stops. And uh, interestingly enough, even though they claim it's like 400 ISO film, uh, pushing two stops, according to CineSteel, I should be uh, shooting it uh, at 1600, um, as it would be 400 ISO film. Um, and this fact actually... Uh, got uh, a lot of people thinking that maybe we should shoot uh, cine still at 500 ISO as uh, it was um, Kodak Vision 3 500 film which is it actually and then we went ahead and uh, went for a night walk with my wife and I shot the roll of uh, 120 cine still film uh, I was uh, rated it as uh, I was rating it as uh, 1600 and uh, tried to meter for shadows and then when I got home and I processed it uh, in my uh, Digibase um, color tech uh, solution and uh, as they recommend for each stop you should add 30 seconds on top so um, let's say a normal process of C41 is uh, 3 minutes 15 seconds, so uh, two stops means you should process it 4 minutes 15 seconds instead. Uh, all other steps are remain the same, so the bleach uh, time remain the same and um, uh, fixed time remain the same basically. And when I uh, got this uh, negatives uh, from the tank, I was quite amazed. They looked looked really really good so uh, my camera messed up the framing that was the first time and I will do a, a dedicated video on that so how you can mess up a framing uh, distance with key of 88 uh, but I when I put those uh, negatives on a scanner I was really really amazed by colors and uh, by the quality of negatives given that I'm not, uh, let's say, a pro in metering uh, uh, in uh, difficult lighting conditions and uh, in Hamburg there is not so many lights uh, in the night uh, uh, usually, so there is uh, there are districts where with the nightlife, uh, uh, of course, there are a lot more uh, interesting lights, but you actually uh, should not uh, take a camera with you in those districts because uh, people can, um, let's say, uh, understand you in the wrong way. So, And this is something I maybe also will do a video about. Um, but then, I mean, uh, given that I had a lot of exposure errors actually, of course, so I should have 
uh, given a, a little bit more light to CineSteel, but it actually showed a pretty good latitude uh, on a scanner, so you can really play with the colors and you can get a look you want on a scanner from those negatives and uh, they won't be, you know, like colors won't be falling apart as it can, like it's sometimes it happens with a color negative film of uh, some other uh, stocks, basically. That happened to me at least when I tried to tune the colors, uh, color colors would look like totally off and unusable and there would be almost like one sweet spot there where uh, you actually get the uh, um, usable shots and as you can see uh, in my examples uh, here I tried uh, three basically different looks uh, of one photo so the first photo is that uh, the look that uh, my scanner uh, suggested as a uh, auto exposure the second one is uh, basically uh, where I uh, moved a little bit uh, sliders of the histogram just to cut the uh, uh, let's say the regions of the histogram where there were uh, was no information at all and as you can see the shot looks pretty underexposed I would say I would give at least uh, one and a half stop more and maybe maybe even two stops more light and the third shot I just wanted to play with a little bit uh, different color tone and maybe I should uh, yeah and maybe I should make a, a separate video on uh, really um, scanning scene still because it's also uh, uh, let's say there there is something to talk about uh, so I mean it was it was really like a love-hate relationship so uh, for the first sight it was purely hate and uh, frustration but then I uh, kind of with more experience and um, you know a different approach to shooting this film I actually I'll actually love the colors and I will definitely buy this film again um, so uh, yeah guys as usual you can find all the pictures uh, on my blog so expired.com and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.